Technology is the use of knowledge, tools, and innovation to solve real-world problems. However, in Nigeria, like in many other places, the tech industry is mostly dominated by men, leaving fewer opportunities for young women to participate. Now, imagine a school where young Muslim girls are not just learning about tech, but they are actually building it. From farm intruder alert system, automatic rain shields, automatic transfer switches, and lots more. It sounds unbelievable, right? But it is happening at Great Height Academy, an all-girls Islamic school that is breaking barriers and reshaping the future. In this episode, we explore some of the amazing inventions and how they are proving that Muslim girls have a place in tech. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Tech and Culture. During our visit to this prestigious academy, I had the privilege of interacting with some of the brilliant young female inventors, and their stories were truly inspiring. For some, their journey into technology began right here in this school, while others were inspired by their parents, like Fatima Amino Ahmed, who designed a farm intruder alert system to help farmers protect their crops and livestock from unwanted trespassers. One of the reasons why I decided to want to venture into tech is because of my strong zeal for wanting to study cybersecurity. Um, I've always found tech and anything that has to do with robotics very interesting and fascinating. And one of my inspirations was also my mom. She's a computer scientist. And um, well, through the path we had to go through in school, going through studying modern tech, we, I laid my hands on the farm intruder alert system. So the farm intruder alert system, it is meant to detect and alert farm owners or property owners about intrusions on their farm. So firstly, there's a motion sensor here. So it senses movement around the farm. Then the ultrasonic sensor measures the distance between the source of movement and the farm. So if the person happens to be within the range of the farm, an alarm goes off, an SMS is sent to the farm owner. Um, the camera takes a snapshot and then sends it to the owner through the database to the mobile app. So on receiving the SMS, the farm owner will then proceed to the mobile app to check the image. If the person poses as a threat, and then in situations where the farmer is on the farm, and then the person is a threat to the farmer, there's a panic button somewhere on the farm whose location is only known to the farmer. He will then proceed to hit on the panic button. The panic button must have already been registered with the security agency, which would have given the farmer a number to put into the system. So as soon as he hits on the panic button, it automatically sends a message to the security agency, and then they will come to the farmer's aid. With such projects already done by I and my team, I look forward into doing more and entering more into it. It didn't end there. Some of their projects were so impressive that the students earned an exclusive invitation to showcase their work at a tech exhibition. This prominent invention was the automatic rain shield, a smart system designed to detect rainfall and automatically move clothes from an outdoor drying line to a covered area. Once the rain stops and the sensor detects sunlight, it smoothly slides the clothes back out to dry. Here in our school, drying clothes on the clothesline can be, it was something we all do, but the weather can be very unpredictable. One minute it can be sunny and the next it can be raining, leaving us scrambling to save our clothes from the rain. To create a solution to this problem, we have thought about it and we created this project called an automatic rain shield. So automatic rain shield, it senses rain using the rain sensor and it retracts the clothing line into the shield so that the clothes won't get wet when it starts raining. When it's done, rain, when it's done raining, it, the rain sensor will get dried either by wind or by sun. Then the clothing line will come out and it will continue drying. The components consist of rain sensor, Arduino Nano, 3D printed gears, and DC motor, power adapter, power regulator, and many other more. So once it is dried by wind, wind or the sun, it comes back out. This student proved that tech is for everyone, regardless of background or gender. Their dedication is a clear message that Muslim girls have a place in the future of technology. If given the right opportunities and support, there is no limit to what they can achieve. 
But that was just the start. These students have developed even more innovative tech solutions to tackle everyday challenges. Like the automatic transfer switch, a device designed to seamlessly switch between power sources, ensuring an uninterrupted electricity supply. It is a device that automatically changes power from one supply to another due to power outage. You could imagine a scenario whereby you work in an organization where power is needed there continuously and then power keeps coming on and off or ceasing then you have to keep going back and forth changing power from one supply to another manually this is where this device comes in this trans the automatic transfer switch will change the power from one supply to another while the phase selector will pick the most reliable source for example if there's electricity and then there's no more light the inverter takes place then it now switches the, to the inverter. Then if the, the light is restored, the inverter switches off automatically and it comes back to the AADC. This transfer change happens within milliseconds, which means it is very quick and then it changes power really quickly. And it is very reliable to work with. These students have developed even more innovative tech solutions to tackle everyday challenges. From security to laundry automation, these students did not stop automating things. They got their hands busy and their brains working by also taking their innovative minds into the real estate and agricultural markets. So let's start by imagining a scenario for you coming back home with a perfectly adjusted environment without lifting a finger. That is the magic of smart home and the smart magic of technology. It quickly becomes reality for many people around the world. We we'll talk to you about how smart home are not only changing our lives but also helping us in saving energy, saving time and also money. A smart home is a residence equipped with many devices that can be controlled via Bluetooth to your smart home, your smartphone or, or Wi-Fi. I'd like to tell you the components of the smart home. So first we have the RFID tag. It uniquely identifies objects like cards by, by storing and transmitting information to um, true radio waves. Then we have the LED um, scroll display. It displays text and graphics, graphics that can be scrolled across a screen, allowing a continuous stream of information to be presented on a relatively small display area. And it also has a touch sensor, which can also be called a tactile sensor, that identifies and records physical touch. And Essentially, essentially acting as a switch that can register something that comes in contact with it. You have a card that the radio frequency identification reads, yes. And then it sends information to Arduino Uno and then the Arduino Uno also sends it to the stepper motor driver and the stepper motor driver helps the gates to open smoothly. Well, even if they get access to here, they cannot get access to here because only you know the password of this place. And for, maybe you have a guest and you want the guest, you don't want the guest to probably know your password. You, can, you have a touch sensor here that you touch and then get, um, the door opens by itself. And it only reads your, your, your fingerprint. That's the smart home prototype for the real estate industry. An innovation that brings automation and convenience to modern living. But there is one more, an invention that tackles one of the biggest challenges in agriculture the smart soil irrigation system. Stay with us to learn the reason why this was invented and how it works. So um, we come from the northern part of Nigeria in which rainfall is insufficient and not enough, which forces farmers to go into traditional irrigation, which might end up leaving their plants either over-irrigated or under-irrigated, which might not necessarily meet the plant requirements for, for its healthy growth. My partner and I sat down to decide how can we bring an end to that problem, and that is how we came up with the smart soil irrigation system. The smart soil irrigation system is a system that uses sensors to monitor, to monitor soil moisture and automatically pumps water when needed to meet the soil's threshold. It has many benefits. Firstly, we have it cuts water bills, cuts the cost of water bills. It reduces labor and supply for the whole year farming. And it's an, it is an effective and eco-friendly in the way of managing irrigation. I would like to show you how our project works. So now, so the sensor is in the soil. Yes. So now, this one sensed that the soil is dry and pumps water. And this one is because we tested it. It's because we tested it before, and then 
the soil is already moisture enough so then it went off so now that the soil has the water that it needs the, it went off by itself so that means no more water is needed for the soil it's already enough like this and once this water drains and goes dry it will pump water again with the continuous advancement in tech and our beautiful cultural values we will continue to bring to you valuable content that will help you learn about tech and your culture thank you for joining us today we'll see you in another episode assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh